Welcome back to another episode. You actually have both of us this time. Not just me, not just him. Hasn't been just him in a while, but it's been just me for a bit. So let's do this. We have Roggle. No insults, just rock. Just rock. Okay. And no insults, Sig. just Roggle. Just fucking Roggle. And Sig. Uh, we're just going to dive right into this because I don't know how long this one's going to take us to get through. But I went down a rabbit hole. Because of something I saw on TikTok, and that led me to this whole uh, research of going, well, is this real? Is this legit? So there is some, this does hold some water. There is some research and uh, scientific evidence to support this. And what I'm talking about is diets and diseases prone based upon blood types. I don't know if you guys have seen any of this floating around. Rogel hasn't because he looked like we just started this call two minutes ago. He asked me what the fuck this was. I wasn't going to repeat it twice. So basically what it is, is based upon your blood type, A, B, A, B, O, the four blood types for everyone who doesn't know that. Uh, there are, there's been enough research done that shows that based upon certain blood types, people tend to uh, either crave or require more protein or require more carbs or require more uh, fiber, like that type of nutrients, that micros and macro types shit. But at the same time, that based upon your blood type, you may have a specific order of your protein source meaning like pork to chicken to beef to fish uh and then some say like you should be eating more of this protein source because of you know different protein structure it works better with your blood type compared to fattier so like some supposedly say that you should eat more fish than like beef because beef tends to irritate you and this is what they've noticed they've done a research with it based upon a collective group saying, oh, when I eat beef, my tummy gets upset or I have the poops or whatever versus when I have fish, I feel so much better. I feel like I have more energy. The only thing that's really different between all these people is their blood type. So, and then diseases, there's like some uh, blood types are more prone to like heart attacks while others are more prone to strokes. Others are more bro prone to like aneurysms. Others are prone to high cholesterol. Like it's just really weird shit. Sent me down a rabbit hole. And I was like, this is bullshit. Let's read into this. And I researched it and I hate it because of mine. <laughs> Only reason I hate it because of mine. <laughs> so I sent Roggle. Okay. The I need to get into this whole topic. What, what, did, what did you even? Nothing. I was scrolling Reddit story, scrolling Call of Duty gameplay, scrolling uh, cooking videos, scrolling random bullshit, scrolling ad, scrolling dietary. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and the hook got me with, did you know that if you're blood type O, you should be eating this protein source compared to pork? And I was like, hold on, pack the fuck up. What? And yeah, I'm very easily targeted I sent you the WebMD there are uh, sources out there but WebMD made it the most uh, easy to understand for you because the sources I was looking at went in far more depth and had more research papers uh, attached to them and broke it down into like a more scientific level and why like, as type a, B, you should have more fish over beef or pork. Like it, it went down to the nitty gritty. I figure for the podcast episode, we don't need the very nitty gritty. Do your own research. I highly recommend everybody looking into this, but I also want to talk to Rod about this. So I want to see his input. Oh, you are, okay. So my, my input is <laughs> I cannot stand. I hate every new keto all the other bullshit new, yeah. diets that have come up. I cannot stand any of the, the trendy yeah. the shit that happened. I can't yeah. stand it. I'm I, with I, you I hate one. those diets. It's very simple to lose weight. 
work out, watch what you eat. Very simple. Um, I mean, it states in this this article itself that you sent me says there's no scientific evidence to back it, but whatever. Yeah. There's that, that probably like some I, truth to it. I tried to find one that showed but, the scientific, but it's like, well, let me tell you explain, and then it broke down like the protein compound structure. I was like, fucking Christ. No, we don't need to know like why amino A is better for you if you have this or this type of amino is better for you. It's like, I no, 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 because I can't understand that enough to explain it. I just understand yeah. it from a personal level, having to study this before. And I'm, I'm all about, you know, trying to figure out what works, what you can, can eat. Like me, I have red meat issues at times, but it, I've, I found it's not the red meat, it's what I'm marinating it with or whatever. Yeah. Is causing it. It's not the red meat. I've had red meat plain, don't have a problem. The marinades and stuff that I end up using are what tend to say, okay, you done. Well, it's time to finish, finish and go uh, evacuate everything that you just ate severely and drastically, and you're not going to enjoy this. Yeah. So, and we've, yeah, we've I mean, talked it, about that too, to the red meat one. We've talked yeah. about that last year where we're like, this, so, so when you have red meats, how's your stomach feel? <laughs> yeah, it hurts. <laughs> It sucks. Yeah, it does happen. Then. But I figured out it's not it's not red meat. It, it is it's the marinades that I use. So but I haven't I, broke down to figure out exactly what it is yet. Yeah. One I have I was more pro like what really caught my attention on this one was the diseases, is there was a lot of connection. That's what I cared more about. But uh, like I do have a I wouldn't say intolerance, but if I have too much red meat in a basically a week span if i have red meat on monday tuesday wednesday by wednesday i'm hurting i'm like i need to stop and i'll go on the binge of just like chicken i don't eat fish so i just do chicken um uh, yeah which is funny though because like i'm i type a b for my blood type and i think it's funny because if you scroll down to a b on webmd again this is the most basic format this is an old older article too they're based off of 96 uh the other ones went into why you should avoid these things but it says uh ab blood type should focus on tofu seafood dairy and green vegetables yeah no uh can't have dairy a whole lot kind of you know all right there i don't eat seafood fuck tofu that's disgusting vegetables green vegetables i'll have a salad there uh, but it says they should avoid caffeine, alcohol, smoked or cured mm. meat. I went, mm, yeah, no, fuck you. I'm going out. Well, <laughs> going out with a bang. <laughs> but I think, I think I'm, oh, I think, I think I am. I, I don't have my dog tag, so I don't even know what I am. <laughs> That's why I went for honest, I don't know. I don't Where's know my dog it. tags? <laughs> so I don't have my dog tags. I don't have my dog tags. I don't know what I am. I think I'm all, I'm all positive. I think so it was. Which exactly, it's everything that I yeah. eat. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty wide open for everything for O positive. Or o, o blood type, not O positive. Yeah, it's just O blood yeah. type. But uh, I I meant to send you the link for the diseases too, but mine made me like hate this thing. And this is where I was like, this is full of shit. But the other articles started breaking down like why you should avoid caffeine, why you should avoid alcohol. Uh, but those are also very like generic terms because I can have hard liquor, but on another research, it says people who drink beer and have AB tend to have a lot of, uh, red flushes as well as internal, uh, issues like indigestion type thing with beer. I was like, Oh, I don't have that, but I definitely don't like the taste of beer. So I couldn't, Prove it other than just my stint in Germany being hammered off of Hefeweizens every weekend. I was like, I don't remember being yeah. upset, but I also remember <laughs> being very drunk. So maybe I just blocked that memory out. But, but this was just interesting because there is a lot of research starting up back or starting back up on it right now because there is a uh, a doctor. I guess she, she has a PhD. I hate that term, but she has a PhD and she's studying this even more in her clinic where she's finding a lot of connection 
purely based upon blood type that she is inferring that oh if, if somebody comes in with like b type b anything blood type and they tell me they're having these issues i was like oh well maybe you should try switching this protein source over that protein source and in her research paper it states that they've came back and saying they've had success with like less bowel issues they've had better bowel movements i'm just over here going i have perfect amount so i don't need help there i'm good there but mine's always referring to you should have more fish it, it's better suited for your your basically your genetic makeup with a b i was like i hate fish with a fucking passion i think it tastes disgusting Yeah, I mean, going in, just seeing like the Harvard website, Harvard Health Publishing, they it's basically says the same exact thing that WebMD says, just a shorter article. Yeah. So, I mean, there's plenty of, there is plenty of articles out there to look at. It looks like uh, Dr. Diadamo is the one that keeps popping up, uh, yeah. being quoted and referenced in a lot of these. Um, but yeah, it, it's, not pointing out anything that isn't already known when it comes to diets and doesn't break it down. Yeah. Food wise by blood type, but I don't it, know it, how that is. Yeah, it's Who just knows? it's one of those things of like it's a correlation. Not anything else. Like yeah. it's not a causation. It's correlation of they're going, okay, well, we had this this selection of a hundred variant of people and we're seeing that the only commonality between these people is they all have blood type and they all seem to have this same issue or they all have the same have a similar issue based upon this bigger problem so like they tend to all have upset stomachs if they all have dairy okay cool you can also just be you know lactose intolerant but they're saying mostly a b is or not AB, whatever blood type a has issues with dairy, but blood type B, O, and AB do not as much as A, so that you can infer that you know this blood type is more prone to this. Okay, this is all just like it's funny. There is some study to it. There is uh there's a lot of resources out there you can go to. If you go to a non.com server, you can find more. So like you get outside of the US, you can find more. Uh there's a few Japanese ones that I found, Japanese based ones that I found, but I had to do a lot of like copy, paste, translate because it was not coming over in English. So I, I kind of question translations because I don't know how, how well they all work. Just based on I looked at like four or five different ones and it, it, all the, the, I don't know the type of one, type AB. The diet recommendations have all been consistent yeah. with everything so far. But oh, yeah, I does see that. Um, <laughs> that's just not good. No, it's not. It's not. I, I've so, tried it multiple times with everybody going, but I make it to where it tastes like, yeah, no, you fucking don't, Susan. Shut your ass up. And the funny thing that I keep finding with all that I looked at, too, is the pros and cons. There's only been like one, maybe two pros. And it's been the diet includes foods that should be that are recommended by the Ministry of Health. Yeah. Obviously, you're dieting. Yes, they're going to say eat, eat healthy stuff. Cons: there's no no evidence to support it. It promotes yeah. a restrictive eating habit, stuff like that. Yeah, obviously, you're going to have a restrictive eating habit if you're on a diet. And there's here's no the, there's no practice to live this way. Here's the <laughs> thing: like, like uh, I, I used to be a physical trainer for the Air Force. And I had to get study and certified in nutrition. When I was over there, and the biggest thing, I hate the term diet. Like It's like keto diet, gluten-free diet. Uh, when it, it sounds so cheesy and corny and uh, rehearsed time and time again with the amount of people that say it, it's, it's, it's not a diet. It seriously just needs to be a lifestyle type change. But it's, it's calories, it's calories in, calories out. It's the most fundamental base people can have. Yeah. The amount of people who are like, well, I'm, I'm working out. I'm going to the gym two, three hours a day. Cool. How much are you eating? Because if your calorie you burn is, is 1,500, but you're consuming 3,000, you're burning half of the calories you intake, but you're intaking mm -hmm. twice the calories burned. Therefore, you're going to store 
the other half. It's like yeah, you to maintain weight equal. Well, within like 200 calories, you 200 up, 200 down, you will maintain weight. If you want to lose weight, you go into a calorie deficit. This isn't hard. So, but I'm with you. I'm like, I hate the, I hate keto. I have family members who have gone full keto. I have family members who uh, fully believe that you should eat sorghum. And I don't know if you know this, that's not processable by the human body. Yeah. At I've all. Heard of it. I, yeah. I, they, they I have swear friends by that it. are that are full on vegan and everything else too. I was like, whatever, I don't I'm not I'm not limiting myself to stuff that I want to want do not want to eat or can't eat, supposedly. But, uh, that's not happening at all. You're not gonna get me to stop eating meat. So I just no. stick to being a vegan, I eat what eats plants. Keep it that way. I'm a trans. Uh, I eat the plants. I eat them. I'm a vegan by the transfer property, transference property. <laughs> Transference. Yep. <laughs> the cow ate the grass. The cows didn't eat. Therefore, vegan. <laughs> yep. Exactly. <laughs> That's about as far as vegan as I go. No, I like. I can't I've, stand that shit. I've, I because I have a I have a brother who is like hardcore into the fitness world and into the dietary restrictions and nutrition shit him and his wife and mm -hmm. it used to piss them off or i i like to think it did because their face they would make when i was like oh yeah i don't believe that shit and their face would like contort or whatever and just like yeah i believe in that i'm going to eat what i want but i'm also listening to my body so there is definitely like times throughout the year where you will catch me eating just like a shit ton of salads so i'm getting all my greens you know high the source of micro microgreens and all the vitamins and irons and minerals to that and then other times you're going to see me you know eat a lot of fruit and then randomly one time one time through a year and it spans for like a week shit ton of milk and then the rest of the year i have issues it's your, it's your cereal phase that you go through no 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 i mean like like a glass of milk like i will i will just down Milk after milk. It's weird. I've done that in a while. No, it's been almost a year, so I know it's coming soon. <laughs> I know it's coming soon. It's yeah. the summertime. It always hits me during summer. Now, obviously, anybody that's listening knows we're not the most in shape people at all. We know this. We choose to. I choose, I choose to not. There I choose is a to six pack myself. in here. Somewhere. Yeah, in there. Buried somewhere. Do I want to lose? Should I lose weight? Fucking probably. Am I going to? I don't know. Probably not. I'll think about it. I've worked out numerous times today in my head. It just hasn't happened physically. The mental gymnast. Yes. In my head, I'm mentally fit. Physically fit, not mentally fit. Nowhere near that. No, no, no none of us ever are. I can't say that because we are working out. We are doing DDP yoga. We're weight, uh, doing small weight lifts and all that. So I am losing weight because I'm better than you. I am losing weight. <laughs> there we go now. Here we go again. And the funny <laughs> thing, like, for me, is like, it, it, it's also, you know, mowing season. So having to go out and mow, not mm -hmm. just my yard, but my mother-in-law's yard. Like, I went and mowed her yard a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. I mow every week. Or anybody like, you can't do it more. I, shut the fuck up. I mow every week. It's fine. But I, I mowed, it was hot outside, like it was just a random high 80s, low 90s day. Sun was scorching. I was like, I just need to get this done, let's go mow. I haven't eaten breakfast, I haven't eaten lunch. And we were planning to go, uh, go eat out, so I was like, it's fine. Mowed, and by the end of it, my mother-in-law was like, oh, do you, do you want like an ice cold beer? I have some. I was like, I don't drink beer. She's like, yeah, but it, it tastes so much better after mowing. I was like, I still don't like beer. <laughs> no. She's like, oh, well, you should eat something. Not wrong. It's like, you, she's like, you should eat sometimes. Like, literally, I am not hungry. It's the same way, like, when I work I out. I, I can't I don't, do it. I'm sweating my ass off. Well, that too. Just, I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't eat anything. And same with, like, when I'm work, after working out, I was like, I, I don't want to eat. My stomach's like, you're done. You're full. <laughs> like, I'm not. Yeah. I, I'm low on blood sugar. And I'm definitely, like, caloric deficit at this point that I need food because I 
lightheaded and all this shit. I was like, whatever, it's fine. And the only thing I did is like, no, but you got like a piece of candy. Because again, I'm not diabetic. But I definitely know when my blood sugar just I drops. I was like, mm, lightheaded, dizzy, faintness. Yep, this is low blood sugar. And uh, brought that up. It's like, it, it happens. Everyone gets low blood sugar at times. It doesn't mean anything. Oh, okay, it does mean something if it happens too often. Go get checked. We are not physicians. We are not nutritionists. Don't take our work. Uh, but <laughs> You'll be fine. Get power through. Don't be a bitch. That's what all the guys do. It's fine. But so did that a week ago or two weeks ago. It had to been two weeks ago because last week we mowed and uh, we went over and we told our, my mother-in-law that, you know, hey, we're also going to long uh, Texas Roadhouse because that's what the kids wanted for dinner as a celebration of being both of them a whole month with no bedtime accidents, uh, completely potty trained, like the four and seven year old, just no more diapers completely. No nighttime, none of that. So it was, it was a congratulations type thing. But it's like, again, I mowed. I mowed our yard, so I didn't have breakfast. I mowed, didn't have lunch, and went over there, and we were just going to drop something off and finish mowing. And so we got there, and she's like, you know, again, we say the same things. I haven't eaten. I know my blood sugar is getting low because my dumb ass is not eating. That's where all my problems, eating and not eating, root of all my issues. But so we went, we went to Texas Roadhouse and got there. One kid said they had to go to the bathroom. So both kids had to go to the bathroom. My wife took them because she said she had to go. I'm sitting there just eating dinner or sipping on my, my margarita and my mother-in-law sitting across from me. She's like, you guys mentioned your, your, like my specific blood sugar a couple times. You okay? I was like, yeah, I'm good. I just didn't eat anything. And when you don't eat anything, there's nothing to be replenished what you're losing. So everything kind of yeah. goes into uh, a starvation mode and it's literally just, it's good to do every now and then, but not always. You still need to eat something throughout the day. So I was like, plus I don't want to bring any help from us. Just want to eat it all here and not bring leftovers. So <laughs> that will not get you. She's like, okay, well, you know, I, I just, I, I'm just concerned because didn't you say your grandpa was like diabetic? It's like, yeah, but. There's also other stuff before that, too. So it's just a cause and effect type thing. It's like, I'm fine. Nothing wrong with me. I just, I don't eat when I'm hot and sweaty. And I was hot and sweaty. Well, you should be cooled down by two hours. No. I'm hot and sweaty for like a few hours. I can go take a shower and I'm still sweating after the shower. I could take a cold shower. I'm still sweating after the cold shower. Like, it's the how I've always been. But I was telling my wife, and she's like, nobody has low blood sugar. It's like, I know. She's like, but you should go to doctors. Like, no. I know what to do. <laughs> I mean, I should. My deductibles paid off this year. Thank you, Vizectomy. Already. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I have, I have the same issue from time to time. I do intermittent fasting, so typically about 8, 9 o'clock at night, I'm done until noon, 1 o'clock the next day. Just depends. Except on Tuesdays so I, and Thursdays. Yeah, because he's eating and drinking until okay. midnight. Drinking, I can, I can drink. I can, I, I don't want to limit myself on drinking or whatever, but. Uh, Do it right. So it's just water. You drink water, you're fine. Yeah, which whatever. I'm not, oh, like again, I'm not, not hardcore in it. <laughs> I'm not hardcore into it. I just don't eat. That's all it is. I just don't eat after that. Yeah. No, I got you. Though. But yeah, there is some candy intake that does happen. Again, I'm not hardcore about it. It's just majority of the time it does happen. Specifically on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays, yes. That's when it does happen. You're a bad fucking influence. It's like your candy. Well, yeah, you can't deny it. Since well, the beginning of everything, my candy well, intake has gone way up. Because Your of willpower is not my issue. Your bad influence is the issue. Who's fucking older here by almost a decade? Who has bad, bad tendencies and bad influence? That's just you. You, your you're army. Candy. That's your whole you're fucking candy. You're like, oh, look the one I got. Look at this one. Oh, look at this one I got. It's over here. See? Look I haven't been you. that that's... way in over a year. Oh. Almonds. Well, that's because you like nuts. And I got some I mean, seeds over here. Way in a... You haven't been what way in a year. I haven't been snacking that yeah. much on candy in a year. 
when we do these podcasts and nighttime streams, nah, -uh. it's mostly you know chips or other junk food, not candy. So <laughs> that's better. I hear a lot. Um, cheese it's are better for you than candy. Okay. I uh, will. I will agree. Depending on your blood type, well, depending on your for Let's see. Blood. Let's see what that says. <laughs> uh, dairy, tofu, seafood. No. Cheese still fall in there. <laughs> no, I don't think artificial cheese falls in there. But no, it, like this whole thing though was again started on TikTok and. Our phones clearly don't listen to us, so I'm sure you'll see something about it now. But Probably. it went down a, a whole fucking rabbit hole for like a whole day where I was just seeing random things about blood types and everything. There was another one that I dove deep into uh, diseases, and it was I thought it was kind of funny because one of them said, "You know, these diseases, these yep, yeah. <laughs> diseases that were most common with people." Uh, typically with blood type A was like uh, big ass words I can't I can't pronounce uh, vascular itis Brock's disease rheumatoid arthritis undifferentiated connective tissue disease and then my favorite which I'm gonna completely mispronounce spondy low arthy low <laughs> so that's why I want you to see if you can see Oh, the stupid shit. Send me the link, because I don't know. Pronounce that word. Do it. I don't see it. I sent you a dis- Oh, did I send you the right Discord? Yeah, no. Fuck me! Delete that message. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I sent it to you in Discord. I just sent it to you. Directly, you. <laughs> Spondylarthropy. Yep, spondyl. Spondylarthropy. Yep, that's what it is. Spondylarthropy. <laughs> yeah, that's that sounds right, but. Spinous <laughs> spinous That's probably that's for now. But then, like. Uh, this would be more for you. Disease is more common with type O is familia Mediterranean fever. I don't know Mediterranean, so I'm good. Systemic lupus. <laughs> oh, another dinosaur name. Erythromatitis. Systemic sclerosis. And Schroeger's syndrome. Shorgans syndrome. Shorgans. Okay. But it's like blood type AB, all diseases tested were co less common in blood type AB people. So I am less likely to have major diseases compared to your fat ass. Isn't it AB that's able to, are you able to donate to all? Uh, to universal. Yeah, which one's universal? Is it A, uh, B, or O? O can receive owner O. Fuck this. O negative donors are called universal donors because anyone can receive red blood cells from their donations. Although 8% of the population is O negative, it counts for 30% of the needs. I thought AB could get to everyone, but let's see. I like how they're like blood type AB has blood that is A antigen and B antigens inside of it. Cool. I fucking don't care. <laughs> All right, let's see. No? So according to this chart, O can give to everyone, but O can only receive from O. A can give to A and B, but A can only receive from A or O. This is a very A, B positive, everybody. 
What I'm looking at is even weirder. Now that's fucking Red Cross. Was, this chart is so confusing. Bear with us. This is Google time. So according to hematology.org, the recipient blood type A positive, you go A positive, A negative, O positive, O negative. A negative is O negative, o, o negative, B positive, B positive, B negative, O positive, O negative, B negative is B negative, O positive, oh, AB is okay. positive, okay. positive is all. Here's a chart, okay? Here's a chart. One, I am AB positive, okay? So you got everything. Yeah, uh, but according to Stanford's blood center dot org, it's one of the rarest blood types. Only 3.4 of the U.S. population has type AB, which is a universal recipient, so I can receive anybody. I thought O was the most rare. That's just what I thought. So AB can receive from everyone, uh, but AB can only give, or AB plus can only give to AB plus. So I can't donate to like AB negative. So I can Your receive. Is kind of compatible with all blood types. AB matching, can receive. Donor blood type. AB can receive, but can't give to everyone. This is if you're in if you're in need. So if I need AB positive, or if I'm AB and I need blood, I can receive from anybody. But your O what positive? Negative? Yeah. Sure. O negative? I think I'm O positive. Okay, O positive. This is if you need O positive, you can only receive blood from O positive and O negative. If yeah. you're O negative, you can only receive from... Yeah, you're, you're fucked. Uh, so O negative is a universal donor, so it can give to anyone, but AB is a universal recipient. It can receive from anybody. But A, nobody can just take AB positive blood. The only person who can receive AB positive blood is AB. AB. So I can give to anybody. I'm a whore. I can give. I can receive everybody. And then you're a slut, so you can give it to anybody. Hmm. Crazy. Let's get some weird. That would make sense, though. Mm -hmm. That would that would make a lot of sense. Why? Why? Like every time I went to Rick, I I can't give blood. I don't know if we've covered this before. I can't give blood. Still don't fucking understand the whole shit behind it. Long story short, I was born in Spain. Maybe during mad you've cow outbreak. Poked, you've been poked and prodded too much. That's what happens during mad cow. Huh? But yep. Korea showed a possible protective. Oh. <laughs> According to this article, uh, we'll wrap this up because this can't have control now. Uh, according to this Korean article, if you have blood type oh. O, you are less likely to suffer from IBS. Or sorry, it's now called IBD, inflammatory bowel disease. Hmm. Have you have it's you had syndrome it's a disease? No. Okay. Well, it's no longer a disease; it's an infection. That's so dumb. Yeah, why do I keep changing shit? Like, it's really bothering me. But I'm like, oh yeah, let me tell you about all this stuff. No, if you're wrong, it's not that acronym anymore. <laughs> I can't look it up anymore. It's changed. This is so weird, yeah. This is like this is like the weird shit I just randomly find. The dietary one again, I thought it was funny, and I thought it was also interesting. I was like, oh my god, like there's some levity to all this, and there's some like just grain of truth that you can be like, yeah, well, okay, that makes sense. But it's to me still comes across as like going to a fortune teller, and you know giving little tidbits of information like oh yeah somebody died oh yeah my grandpa 
and his name was yeah i just told you it was my grandpa of course he knows a he so <laughs> jokes on you bitch wait 40 years 2024 will come back around uh -oh. Some of my live stream moments. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's interesting. There was, again, looked into it and contacted somebody that I know that actually works inside the nutrition, the medical field, and I was like, hey, any truth to this, any factual basis to this? And like, to a degree, like nutritionists will look at it and they will definitely bring your blood type into it and say, oh, okay, let's try to steer you away from. In my case, red meat is what I should be steering away from. Uh, but at the same time, they're not going to say, oh, because you're, you're type AB, you cannot have red meat at all. Like, it's not healthy for you. It's just, it may not agree with you. But there's always somebody who defies the laws of, well, everything. So, but they definitely do bring it in. It's just not a weighted stone as she put it I me mean, it's not something they rest their flag on but like yep right here we got to create this diet around not having red meat in the system tell me i can't it's have smoked resource, meats though right? like fuck you up i bought a smoke not a resource for them to say yep this is one thing that we can use we can go from it's not going to be doctrine you know or the bible for you to go through but it'll be something you can look at and possibly steer away from these certain things. It's a good reference but, point. Yeah. But like, it's, there's a lot of things that, that change with your diet, with working out, especially having a personal trainer. They're going to go through whatever they, they believe. So it's like, oh, well, they're, and they're always going to ask you what works for you. What do you, what does your body do? What does your body respond to? I mean, it's just shit like that that they're going to ask as well. So say yes, stop drinking. All the other shit ain't bad. Sir, trainers don't give a fuck about you at all. To get you to sign up or do that, they will act as if they're like car salesmen. Oh, yeah. No, they're they worse. They they're worse. worse. <laughs> I will say, I had a. We went to. This was seven years ago. Over seven years ago. My wife was pregnant with our oldest, and we got a membership to Genesis the gym biggest fucking crook out there other than plant fitness uh, but signed up and everything and they're like yeah you get a i think it was like a month free with a trainer and again i had the background knowledge i used to be a physical trainer in the military i still have all my workouts i still have all my books that say this is the type of workouts you should do to uh, trigger these muscle components and like how you should stage your workout sessions like i have everything so it's not like i need one but of course it's like eh Let's see, because there's me going, I bet I can make you feel stupid. Let's try this. And sure enough, there was someone that's like, oh, yeah, you know, let's sign you up. We'll get you. I think it was like Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday type thing. He had me out on a uh, routine. And I just remember telling him, I was like, look, I don't need to focus so much on uh, muscle building. So I don't need to focus predominantly on weights because I'm not trying to get shredded. I'm just trying to lose weight. So I just need to choose functions that burn more calories. So sometimes cardio works better. Other days it's just doing like abs. Other days it's definitely hitting the weights a little bit harder and doing small weight, high reps. And he's like, yeah, yeah, no, I got you. I got you. Sit me at home with the workout. And he's like, okay, here's what we're going to do. You're going to go do squats. You're going to do five sets of squats. And he, like we're maxing out. I was like, yeah, I don't want to max out. I haven't been in the gym in like a year at this point. It's like, I'm not, I shouldn't max out. He's like, no, no, that's how we find your baseline. No, you want to lure me up for a few days. Give me like work, work me out for a week. And then you go, okay, let's find your ground, like your baseline. Cause if somebody's just coming to the gym for the first time, the first thing you do is go rack the weights. Let's put all the weights on see how much you can lift. Like you're going to injure yourself because your muscles not used to lift that much weight. And being a guy who's going to go, I can lift it. Oh my God. It's the L. Rip it. <laughs> Most people are stupid. So, but he didn't like that. I just remember cool, 
wrapping him near the end of it and the rest of the like, I got, I got to ask you because you seem to be very knowledgeable. Why did you need a trainer? I was like, oh, I did it. I used to be a physical trainer actually for the Air Force. Why'd you get one then? Free. And I want to see if you knew what you're talking about. <laughs> really? Yeah. And for the most part, you're not wrong, but your approach sucks ass. <laughs> Well, how would you have done it? I literally just showed him on my phone. I, I still have notes from years ago that I took pictures of. I was like, this is a workout routine that works perfectly for me. And it's targeted for my type of like just losing weight. I'm not trying to tone up. I'm not trying to get uh, more muscle. I'm just trying to shred weight. So I'm trying to burn the most calories I can and get in the maximum heart rate to get to that uh, highest ca uh, caloric burn. Where'd you get that? The Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a test and everything. And they're like, here's your book. You can keep it. <laughs> yeah. What did the army do for There's you? Somebody that came out of that they fucked me up. Mentally, physically, spiritually? Anally? Yes. Oh, yep. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I can't even do a push-up anymore. Unless it's on my fist. I can't do I can't do flat hand push-up. Anymore. My wrists are fucked. We do, D we do DDP yoga, and like my wife and I say the same thing. It's like we can't go, like go on our hands anymore. It hurts. And so I'm over here doing like my knuckles and everything. It hurts. I was like, yeah, stop doing it. Because if I do, if I do my hands, like you should be doing like that, you know, flat, perpendicular to your body type thing. My hands go out like a fucking duck's foot. It's like that's the only way it's comfortable. Because my wrist isn't bending forward or backwards. So yeah. I'm gonna tear something real soon. I can feel it. Yeah, not yet. I have gotten a little bar the bar things you can put down. But if I have those and grab those to do it, I'm fine. It's just the pressure of putting it flat on the ground. I can't do it. That hurts. Do not you're old. have them. That's who yeah. I mean you're older. Well yeah. I may be old. You're older. That <laughs> ER at the end of it. Yeah. Just remember that, everybody. He's, he's older. Just by a little bit. Not Almost much. a decade. Not much. Not Almost a decade. Don't bring your fucking facts to this argument at all. Remember, even over five radio. gets rounded up to ten. Nothing, nothing needed for that. <laughs> You were closer to 40. Bullshit. You're closer Not to 40. closer to it. I'm over it. Even better. Yeah, you're still closer to 40 than I am 30. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I do. I do. I um, <laughs> that's fine. You're not going anywhere. You're just my little bitch. It's fine. Anyways, wrapping this up. Um, we are, if you haven't picked up on it, we are down to one episode a week. And this is due to a couple factors, which I, we should have actually addressed at the top of the hour, but it's fine. Uh, Roggle and Lane have a horror based podcast called Evil Insight. Have you actually released an episode on that yet? Not yet. So, y'all remember earlier this month when we said, we're going to release it in May. I said, no, you're not. It's going to be June because you can't do shit. Yeah, look at this. We're closing in on June. Get to it, motherfucker. Some, some issues that have happened, so yeah. Personal yeah. stuff that's kept me from having to do it. Yeah. Just tell him to not let that washer and dryer. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, so... I, I We're going to work out further, but we are down to one episode of the week here. We have Evil Insight with Lucas or with Rago and Lane. I don't know how you're going over there. You don't use my don't use my government name. Don't you use my government name, you son of a bitch. No, okay. I'm still uh, Rago on that one too. I, I say Rago to all of them. Um, but you have Rago and Lane for the Evil Insight, which is all based around horror horror movies. I'm going to assume just anything horror based. Uh, and then you have our wrestling specific podcast, which is Rago Lane and myself. Um, and I think 
we're gonna have to work out some uh setups with it but i think we're gonna get to the point where it's basically one of those is gonna launch every week if possible so you get three different focuses but we'll see uh we're going he doesn't know this yet i'm making the exact decision being the you know i do everything on this podcast okay uh however the last two weeks so this episode you're listening to should actually debut i don't have a calendar it's on your computer i'm trying to click on it and it won't fucking pop up there we go <laughs> this episode will come out may 16th may 23rd and may 30th there will be no episode release we're going to take a two weeks vacation uh end of school is happening around that time for us too and it's a kickoff of summer but it's also going to allow us to start backlogging episodes for all of it especially when he gets fucking evil inside going hey hey so we'll be back june i just had the calendar up first June 6th will be the first official episode back after our, our two week stint. What's it about? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But we will still be uh, playing video games every Thursday night on Twitch, Kick, Facebook, YouTube for me. Twitch. So. Mm-hmm. They can't see you shake your head. Mm-hmm. They can't say, mm-hmm. Shake your head harder. They'll hear those last two mem- uh, last two brain cells rattle around. Good. I was really hoping well, you do it because I have a sound effect and everything. <laughs> nope. No. I'm out of your games. Your bullshit. You, you spew. <laughs> Whatever. Bro, you got anything? I got nothing else. Check out the two guys gamepad.com. For merch, everything else, like six check us out every Thursday. Play video games. Nothing else. Till the next one. Bye, bitch. <laughs>